everyone. Welcome to Adventures in Everyday Cooking, where every day can be an adventure in your kitchen. My name is Heather, and today we're doing another knife review. Today we are reviewing a gorgeous knife from Nakano Knives, and it is handcrafted by master artisans there in Japan. It is made of high carbon stainless steel. It has a natural olive wood handle, and it is designed to last for multiple generations. And their claim to fame is that Michelin star chefs use their knives. And they've asked me, me, to review it. So without further ado, let's review this Nakano knife and see what we think. I am so excited. All right, you guys, on first touch of this knife, um, it, the weight of it is really nicely balanced. I feel like it feels nice in my hand and it will do a good job and stand up the test of time. This olive wood looks absolutely fantastic. It kind of matches my kitchen. So let's just go ahead and start off. So right away, this is very sharp. That cut through very easily. I will cut up some other things too, but I wanted to start with our salmon. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut my salmon right in half. Ooh, slid through silky smooth. Now already as it's sitting in my hand, I feel like it's a little bit off balance and the test will be whenever I kind of balance it in my hand and it kind of falls forward. So that's a little disconcerting to me because then I feel like I'm fighting with it as it's, you know, like, I'm having to pull it back. Um, but other than that, I feel like it still feels really good in my hand. So let's go ahead and just slide that through that steak. <laughs> wow. Okay, um, uh, that was phenomenal. <laughs> that was really nice. That was a really nice cut. Hold on, let's do the next one. Very, we're letting the knife do the work for us. I'm using very little pressure and it's sliced like butter through that salmon. Now, comparatively to other knives, this is not a budget knife. This is a nice Michelin rated knife. So you are gonna pay a pretty price for this knife. However, because Nakano likes me, they are gonna give you a 10% discount if you should want one, which makes this knife into the affordable range. So if you are looking for a good knife and this one meets your fancy by the end of this, use my link and my coupon code. The coupon code is Adventures in Everyday Cooking, all one word, um, and you will receive 10% off. Um, I also receive a small commission if you purchase a knife, but I'm gonna leave that up to you because we're just starting with this knife. This is the only thing I'm cutting. I don't even know when I'm telling you this, what I'm gonna ultimately think at the end of this video, but so far, so good. So let's go ahead and finish cutting the rest of these steaks up. Oh yeah, this, it's an, it cuts very nicely. All right, knife has been cleaned. So we're just gonna take some seasoning we are going to sprinkle over the top and be generous because you're gonna wipe some off in just a second. Now we're gonna take some olive oil and we're gonna sprinkle, drizzle right over the top of all of these. And then I'm going to use my pastry brush and I am going to brush that right into that salmon. I'm also gonna brush the sides and then we are gonna turn it over in just a second and brush it there too. Okay, now I'm gonna let these sit and marinate for about five to 10 minutes. All right, so our first vegetable test is going to be a tomato. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the tomato off and we're gonna take the knife and just very lightly push it across the tomato. And look at that. It cuts with very little, very little pressure. Look how thin I got that piece of tomato. Look at that. That is pretty darn thin. That's amazing. So now we're gonna try dicing it. Very nice, very nice to use. Very easy to slice through those pieces of tomato. 
Yes, that looks fantastic. That feels fantastic when I'm using it. And I dice and slice a lot of things in my day. Does this knife work better than the last knife that I reviewed? Yes. It also costs twice as much. So there's, I mean, like, hmm. And it is razor sharp. This is so sharp, you guys. Look at that. All right, let's do some matchsticks. So I'm gonna slice it right down the middle. Took a little bit of pressure, but they're carrots. What do you expect? And then I'm gonna take this. All right. Oh yeah. That's nice. That's pretty good. That was an easy pull. Let's do it again. All right, and now let's go ahead and slice. I'm gonna check that slicing motion. Ready? Okay. All right, I like it. Now let's try some dice. And then I'm gonna go ahead and run my knife going this direction. Okay, and then this direction. Hmm, okay. Uh, you can tell the quality of this knife far supersedes that last knife that I reviewed. Again, this one is um, Michelin reviewed and Michelin star used in restaurants. So that's probably why it's so much better. All right, let's go ahead and cut up this leek. And my goal here is just to cut up all kind of like uh, the different textures of vegetables. Oh, that slides. That's nice. Make some leek soup, y'all. Oh my, that's really nice. Okay. as the leeks roll away. <laughs> nice, nice. And then the last vegetable we're gonna do, because we did it with the other one, is a potato. We will just see how thinly we can cut this potato. And because this is so stinking sharp, you can go very thin. If you don't have a mandolin and you want a sharp knife, uh, this one is pretty darn thin. Uh, that's a pretty thin potato right there. And then I will go ahead and let's, let's dice this one. Because you can slice so easily with this potato, um, that made those dices super easy. Those are some serious fine dices. And I barely had to push through that potato. Okay, performance wise, this gets a 10 out of 10. I feel like this is a knife that I could easily use on a daily basis and be absolutely happy with. All right, now we are gonna get our salmon into the air fryer. So we're gonna go ahead and get our salmon in the lowest possible place in your air fryer. Go ahead and shut the door and you do not have to preheat your air fryer for salmon. Now we're gonna set it for 400 for seven minutes. All right, it's out and check out these beauties. Air fryer salmon, easy, easy. Okay, let's go ahead and take one off. So I'm gonna cut mine into chunks so that it can go inside the ramen. Obviously, you can do whatever you want with your own salmon and your ramen. It's up to you, but oh, slides like butter. You don't even have to cut this fish. I don't even have to, but because the fish is so well cooked, you can just wiggle the knife, just wiggle it and it cuts right through, but the salmon is so perfectly cooked. It is gorgeous, but I will see if I can cut very softly. This is like butter. 
I mean, the knife is doing its job, but the salmon is also, also so very cooked well. I love salmon in the air fryer because there's no guesswork. Because if you temp it after the seven minutes, if it is not done, then just put it in for another two minutes until you get that perfect temperature. And then we are gonna just pick this salmon up and slide it right on the top. And voila, there we have it. We have a ramen salmon bowl. Beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I'm not gonna eat it on camera because eating ramen or soupy stuff is going to be a mess. And I'm sure that ASMR people might want that, but Heather doesn't think so. That's it for me. If you enjoyed that review, give it a like, share it with your friends, and consider upgrading your knives to the Nakano Japanese Crafted Knife. You guys, I, I think I like it. And I think that my son is gonna like this one a lot better than he liked the other one. Did he like it? I don't know, because this is an honest review and if he likes it, great. If he doesn't, then we'll be looking for another knife that he can call his own. All right, you guys, we will see you on the next adventure. Bye. Taking my ramen to go. Eating ramen on video is not a good idea.